And the quietness has been broken here in the fourth. Yes. The slumber by the locals has turned into an awakening here for the Aces. Lead down to only two, 73, 75. Alaska has scored in 13 points. In Ebra, only one point here in the fourth. What a big turnaround here in the fourth quarter. Well, what better way to put pressure on your locals than by telling your imports sit down <laughs> and let the import and let the locals rather sweat it out and that's exactly what's happening with the Alaska Aces now Eric Mink on the floor replacing Rudy Hatfield and the ever shifty Mark Aguila almost lost there Helterbrand three seconds on the shot clock the fake come past the no one Alaska's defense finding its teeth here in the fourth quarter and taking a look at the numbers. What a the field goal story says it all. Ginebra is now 0-10 from the field here in the fourth. While Alaska have been very good. Six of thirteen from the floor. De La Cruz. Alaska Aces now with a chance to tie the ball game for the first time in the second half. Ugnatan stuck in traffic. Here comes De La Cruz. Jumper good. Has hit huge baskets. In the last two wins by the Aces. And Tony De La Cruz already with 12 points here in this ball game. So this is only the third deadlock of the ball game. Bounce pass from Mink. It's blocked by Cyrus Baggio. Buwagsak pa yung headband, ha? Natakpan pa yung mata. And Baguio really wants it in his hands. The three! The three by Baguio! That's a cold-blooded rainbow connection for Skyrus Baguio. Doing it all for the Aces here in the fourth. And we now have a 30-second timeout brought to you by Handy Picks. And first aid ng bahay mo, Pantol seals all. And Barangay Ginebra now have to call for this timeout and to figure out how to stop the bleeding here cyrus baggio has taken the bull by the horns and has single-handedly taken control of this team started out by pushing the pace here for the aces and uh nung nakakapagtaka nung third quarter nawala si ambres for hinebra umarangkada sila ngayon in the fourth nawala si simpson for alaska tumalo ang mga locals dito ng aces over to Patricia Hiza now, who's standing by with this report. Now we're seeing why Cyrus Baggio is so happy to be with a team where he'll have a lot of room to grow. What's good is that he says he's familiar with the triangle system from his college years. He just needs a little bit of tweaking. Now, the coaching staff earlier told him not to hesitate, so he dropped that reserved natural side of him, and he started to figure things out. He's just excited to be playing with a team that his uncle, Rick Marata, played for. We all know that he passed away due to an autoimmune disease, and Cyrus just feels like he's taking a path that his uncle took which makes this next chapter even more exciting for him Vito? thank you thank you patricia and eric mick fighting back now for the barangay hinebra king scoring from close range it's a one-point ball game 78 to 77. cyrus baggio the hand up to Hugnatan. no basket and no foul go ahead pass and the all reliables delivery here for Hinebra, Eric Mink scoring inside and a layup here courtesy of Mark Kagiwa. And Kagiwa starting to pick up where he left off in the first half. That was his 22nd point of the ball game. Now the Alaska Aces try from long distance. No. Rebound by Mamaril. Download the Mink. Mink challenged by Toss. The kick out pass, Ambrose, the three bomb, no. And you see the Aces trying not to get caught up in the emotions here. They want to go to their half court play. Tenorio gets free. Jumper is no good. Two straight misses here by LA Tenorio. Simpson cannot get into the game. Wala pang break time na ikita. Never on top by one after being down by three points late here in the fourth. Oh, the crossover by Kagiwa. 
hindi mo na narinig ang whistle sa ingin ng tao dito sa loob ng Big Dome. That foul will allow Diamond Simpson to make his first entry here in the fourth quarter for the Aces. What a wind-up! And this could be the perfect opportunity for Diamond Simpson to enter. Now the Sidus Bagger is starting to heat up. All he has to do is continue his offense. Nice block there by Sidus Bagger. Now Bagger! Oh, what a tough fight! A rejection and a high-flying finish. One-point margin, courtesy of the 12th point by the Skyrus Baguio. Papakilala si Baguio, ha? And now Kagiwa kick out. Ambrose moves in. This time the floater doesn't make it. Ambrose had to work for that basket. 23 points from Milton Ambrose and we are now down to our final two minutes of the game. Barangay Hinebra protecting a one-point lead. Only the second team foul by Hinebra, but that is the first under the last two minutes. One more foul will put them over the limit. Over the cross. Tenorio. Oh, and it's a lo almost a lost possession, but they're down to only three seconds on the top clock. Tenorio, the reverse layup. No good, but there will be a foul. And L.A. Tenorio with the mindset of not giving up that ball. Attacking the hoop. And L.A. Tenorio... 3 of 16 from the floor in this ball game. 9 points so far for LA in 39 minutes. Now Tenori with an opportunity to make the shots that matter. And he ties it up at 81. Let's take a look at this power move brought to you by Derby Ace Premium Formula. Dito ka na, San Yamado, starring Cyrus Baguio. And remember, this was Cyrus Baguio fresh off his block on the other end. And this time, challenging his former teammate. And another free throw by L.A. Tenorio brings the lead back to Alaska. 82 to 81. Chance now for Barangay Hinebra to answer. Kagiwa. Oh, this communication between Kagiwa and Mank. Alaska defending that reverse pick and roll so well. Forcing Mark Kagiwa to turn that ball over. A minute and 22. Alaska with a hairline lead to be about to make his re-entry here late in the fourth. Tenorio against Celino Cruz. Tenorio with a jumper. No, it's short. But Sonny Toss chasing down the loose ball. Look at Coach Tingon wanting a clear out here for Cyrus Padio. A lot of trust being put into the new acquisition here. Baco, oh, up and under, no. That's just, that's just a difficult reverse double pump. And Diamond Simpson helping out Cyrus Baggio as he was isolated at the right wing. Defense of Hinebra zoned him, but Diamond Simpson distorted the defense, enabled Cyrus Baggio to get into the heart of Hinebra's defense. And Baggio increases the lead to two, 83 to 81. Biggest lead of Hinebra was 16 points. And Alaska with a huge turnaround here in the second quarter, starring this young man, Cyrus Baggio. And that free throw shot brought to you by BMEG Derby Ace Premium Formula. Dito Kana Sal Yamado. 12 points for Cyrus Baggio in this fourth quarter. And now Alaska in the driver's seat, 84 to 81. Second of it, Alaska ahead by three, 84 to 81, coming back from a 16 point deficit. Barangay Hinebra with their backs against the wall. Look at this, Kagiwa, the runner, no good. Pippin, still no good. And the Aces get it back. It's a golden opportunity for Hinebra to cut the lead to only one. But Sanitos, last line defender, present there to deny an open look for Mark Kagiwa. And now the Kings have to get a stop here. Baggio, as we mentioned before the break, has already scored 12 in this quarter. He's off with a jumper, and now the Kings are on the run. 
16 seconds and counting. Kagiwa wants it in his hands. There's the fake. 